released in 2022. This one six scale Ryu from Street Fighter V by Iconic Studios is a rare occurrence in this hobby. Not only is it officially licensed by Capcom, it's also a joint venture with TB League, who instead of providing a seamless body from an existing model, will instead be making one from scratch, which will be tailored to Ryu's unique proportions. If the quality of these head sculpts is a sign of what's to come, then I think we're in for a ride, because these portraits are hands down phenomenal, as if Ryu is lifted straight from the game. It's the bold and broad features in line with the game's art style that really bring these to life. The ruggedness, the depth of the cheekbones, and the chiseled jawline all add to the bigger picture. The hair sculpt is also one of the best I've seen this year. Every spike around the head is consistently crisp. The grinning face on the right by itself looks like Ryu is caught off guard while riding a roller coaster, but the blowback effect is actually very fitting for dynamic poses, which we'll soon find out. It's a strong suit of this release. The headband is sculpted in, but the transition to the fabric tail is flawless, and they're inlaid with a wire for holding a pose, which is a recurring theme that would persist for the rest of the costume. The heads are also really easy to swap. The grip is firm, yet you don't need an exuberant amount of force to detach, which is something that can't be said for the hands and feet parts, unfortunately. As for Ryu's iconic karate gi, its brilliance lies in the subtleties of its composition. The fabric overall is very stiff, and it's slightly weathered everywhere. There's a wide lining that goes all the way around the collar to the tip, which is yet another example of Iconic Studios' express intention for catering to dynamic poses. The sleeves are skillfully tattered, even though the fraying threads won't easily fall apart, I'd still recommend caution when working around this area. As expected, the black belt is also fully wired. The four kanji characters from top to bottom read, Furin Kazan, representing the military philosophy, swift as wind, silent as forest, fierce as fire, and stable as mountains. Originally based on Sun Tzu's The Art of War, this battle standard was also adopted in Japan during the Sengoku period. Read from left to right, a rarer form of these characters is also seen on Ryu's beautifully sculpted gloves, but more on these in a bit. Next up are the pants, which are perfectly tailored. The wrinkles around the knees are stitched in place at the sides, so they're always consistent. The cuffs hang at just the right length, and they're once again expertly tattered. I don't usually cover articulations for TP League bodies because they generally work the same way, but this one is too good to gloss over. There's even an instruction for the do's and don'ts on how to handle the figure. Weighing in at about 1.8 pounds, the massive metal skeleton underneath is the only support for this body. TB League really hunkered down to nail the shape and size of every muscle fiber. The neck's got a good range of up and down and side to side swing. You know, pretty standard stuff, but we're just getting started. When the arms are raised, the physique is not at all bent out of shape. In fact, the pegs and delts are looking very natural, which is a shame because they're mostly covered by the shirt. The arm swings do have their limits, which we'll see in a second, but at least the front to back swing is looking pretty good so far. The biceps really look like they're flexing when you bend the elbow. Unlike the head sculpts, the hand parts are much tougher to swap out, and because the cuffs are sculpted in hard plastic, they can only do a twisting motion, and do make sure you're not twisting the rubber arms as you do this. Now Iconic Studios do have you covered, because the hand part for releasing the Hadouken is already bent in the proper angle. The only problem though, which is my biggest gripe for this release, is that I wasn't able to contort the arms in such a way that would fit into this pose. I tried every which way, inserting left first, right first, or trying to force both at the same time, but no luck. And I couldn't get the fully extended arms to hold like in the instructions. So after a good hour of trying, I just gave up. Anyways, moving on. The torso's got a very robust twist and side-to-side -side swing. For any Ryu fans who are expecting to see some tasteful nudes, I'm afraid I can't show them here. But rest assured, this isn't a hybrid seamless body. Everything between the neck, wrist, and ankles are one connected piece. Though this does add more tension to the rubber, so the pelvis to leg action is inadvertently reduced. You can tuck the pants a little higher to squeeze out more range, but this here is pretty much it. I was still able to get a decent Tatsumaki kick though. The knee bend and twist are also decent, but the ankles are surprisingly not as robust. However, they are pretty sturdy, so the figure shouldn't tip over when standing up straight. You also get an additional pair of flexing feet option. These are the last line of defense for a good stance, so they're understandably difficult to swap. And they do work really well, especially for the parry stance. Other than the hands and feet parts which we've just covered, there isn't a whole lot left for the accessories. But that's fine because Ryu is not about material needs. Take the stuffel bag for instance. He travels the world with it, and it's reflected by how fashionably rugged and weathered it is. It's also very light thanks to the cotton stuffing. Then we have this sculpted Hadouken effect. 
Under the proper lighting, this thing glistens with what looks like particle effects, which is quite surreal to see. There's also a slot on the bottom for inserting this clear display stand. That is if you can actually get Ryu into the Hadouken release pose. So if you have any insights on how to achieve that pose, that is not some kind of clever photography trick. Please let me know in the comments, because I'd hate to see this beautiful prop go to waste. Next is your run-of-the-mill figure stand with a dynamic display option. The logo is clean and shiny, with an equally appropriate metallic nameplate. Oh, and before I forget, Iconic Studios packed in a set of gloves for your convenience, which is very thoughtful because the seamless body is a dust magnet. And last but not least, the cover of the box is actually a backdrop for Ryu's home stage, the Suzaku Castle. It's wide enough to cover most of the stage too, adding to the overall charm of this release. For the size comparison, let's start with fellow fighters Chun-Li and Kami from Street Fighter 4 by Medicom and a 6 scale replica of the Street Fighter 2 cabinet by New Wave Toys. Somehow, I feel like Ryu wouldn't be any good at his own video game, but only because he's too broke to go to the arcades. In the spirit of crossovers, here's Iron Man Mark 46 and Captain America by Hot Toys, because these figures are popular and serve as a good frame of reference. And that's my sad attempt to recreate some of that Marvel vs Capcom glory in my display. Next is of course the ever-growing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Collection. This is a setup that I used to think was impossible, but it's slowly becoming a reality in recent years. Here's a crossover I'd love to see. Capcom vs Mortal Kombat, with Scorpion and Sub-Zero by Storm Collectibles leading the charge. The use of jointed arms on these two have sparked some debate. I mean sure, the elbow joints could look better, but seamless arms probably wouldn't last long, seeing as how the armbands and braces are such a tight fit. And finally, here's some Capcom vs SNK goodness. Blue Mary and Haomaru by Tunchi Studio. Haomaru in particular has almost identical proportions to Ryu, yet his body is made from completely jointed parts. Although an argument for either types of bodies can be made for either figures, my biggest takeaway is that either approach could work, so long as the makers put in the proper care. So there you have it, the 1-6 scale Ryu from Street Fighter V by Iconic Studio and TB League. Other than the fact that I had so much trouble getting the Hadouken release pose, this figure has nailed it in every category. The portraits are as good as they come, the seamless body is a work of art, and the overall presentation is world class. It's definitely worthy for a character who is arguably the face of the fighting game genre. And with how stellar this release has turned out, I'm even more excited for Iconic Studios' other license of yet another beloved classic, Silent Hill 2.